Hello my fellow fools and welcome back to another fun, exciting, action-packed adventure for that award-winning show because I say it is the fit a hat fool. I'm the fool, the hats are fitted, and away we go. Now on the top of my head is a Tampa Bay Devil Rays hat. This is a Cooperstown collection Devil Rays hat after they change their name from Devil Rays to Rays. Now I also have a Devil Rays hat that I bought when they were still the Devil Rays before the Cooperstown collection had to be involved because um, I heard they were going to change their name and I frankly liked the Devil Ray on the hat so I went out and bought one. <laughs> so I'll deal with that in another episode. Uh, but first we'll get into the hat, uh, then we'll get into my thoughts on the uh, change of the name from Devil Rays to Rays. And as always the bonus look at my ball head. Now as you see the front of the hat it's purple and it has a kind of a green and yellow TB with the uh, Devil Ray uh, going by there. And the bill is uh, black and then it's uh, got the Batterman logo back there. And you got the Cooperstown collection in there, 7 and 5 a. It's 59.50, the sweatband, all that good stuff. Now, um, yeah, I didn't like the name change of Devil Rays to just Rays, because like now it's like Sun Rays, which I, I guess are nice to a point. But I mean, sometimes when I go outside, I look up and I go, who ordered all this goddamn sunlight? So I like the Devil Ray better than a sun ray. Also my favorite hockey team was the New Jersey Devils. That's my state of birth. Uh, so, you know, I would rather have Devils in there. But uh, I heard there, you know, I don't know whether it's true or not because, you know, you hear things, but who knows whether they're true or not. I heard that they were changing the name uh, from Devil Rays to Rays because of some Southern Bible Belt church going bullshit. I don't know if this is true or not. I really hope not because, you know, it's a devil ray, it's a sea creature. They're not, I, I've seen devil rays, sting rays, I've seen them swimming around. They're fun to look at. I, I've even uh, fed them fish at SeaWorld. I spent like $8 on all these uh, little ice cream cone cups full of fish to feed the, uh, the sting rays there. So I, I like seeing them, I had a good time. So, um, you know. And then as far as the Devil Rays himself, I actually saw them play in 1999 in Seattle. I was living in uh, Linwood that year, and that was the year they were switching the Mariners from the Kingdom to Safeco Field. Uh, so I thought, hey, I better see a game at the Kingdom before they close it, because they had about, a, I don't know, three weeks left before they closed it or something at the time. So I, I went up to the ticket window. I said, I'd like a ticket for the next game. I think it cost me 10 bucks. I sat out and... Uh, center field or something like that. Uh, this is back, I guess, when the Mariners were semi-good. They still had uh, A-Rod and uh, Griffey Jr. and I think Jay Buner, Buner, Buner was still there. And, you know, I, I guess it was interesting being a Yankees fan, seeing the Kingdom, uh, you know, with the site of that uh, 11th inning rally to, for the Mariners to win game five in the playoffs, but you know, uh, you know, if you don't hold a lead, and when you go up 2-0 to zero in a series and you can't win it, that's what happens. That's your own damn fault. Uh, I am a Yankees fan, in case you're wondering. And, um, but, uh, I, you know, and I was wearing my Yankees hat that day. I had a lot of fun. The, uh, the, the peanut vendor was going by. He sold some uh, snacks to some people. And, and he was like, oh, look, we got a Yankees fan here. And he was, he was throwing a, a bag of snacks uh, somewhat near my face. Not too close. He was being funny about it. Um, I had a good laugh, he had a good laugh, people around me had a good laugh, nobody got upset. Nowadays there'd probably be some stupid lawsuit and they would claim they're afraid of bags of snacks and peanuts now and they'd win some stupid lawsuit or something. All I did was, you know, I had a laugh, it was fun. I had a good time, nobody got upset. And uh, But you know, now this is the golden age of bullshit lawsuits. So. Uh, yeah, you know, I mean, maybe I should just go ahead and sue for something stupid. I'll, I don't know. Maybe I'll sue Mother Nature for making the sun too bright. See how much money I can get out of that. But anyway, this has nothing to do with the uh, sports. Uh, <coughs> if I'm not mistaken, I, I, I'd have to look this up, but I think the score that day was like 11-5 Mariners. 
or something like that. Some I, I got the ticket stub in a frame with a postcard of uh, the kingdom, and I got the uh, scorecard from the game. And you know, I kept score. You know, so and so did this, such and such did that. Uh, Wade Boggs was on the Devil Rays that year. Maybe that was his punishment for uh, riding around on a horse and looking kind of silly after the Yankees won the 96 World Series. But on the other hand, I guess I can't fall him too much because uh, I like horses. But I've been thrown off a horse twice. I've gotten up on a horse twice and I've been thrown off twice. Uh, the first time, it right off the bat. Then several years later, I was out on a horse that saw a snake or something. It got spooked and you know, down I went. Um, so, you know, as far as horses, I like to appreciate from, them from the ground. I, I pet them, I'll give them an apple or whatever they want. But as far as riding around on them, nah, nah, nah. That's, uh, that hasn't gone well for me twice, so. Uh, so, you know, I like horses. I'm friends with horses. I watch them run around. I pet them. I feed them, but I ain't getting on them. Uh, this also has nothing to do with uh, baseball, really. But, you know, if you've been watching this show for my 100 or whatever episodes I got of it now, uh, then you know um, I don't go on, uh, you know, linear thought. I just kind of go over the place. And thank you for being a long-time watcher. And if you're a new viewer, thanks for tuning in. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. You know, click that subscribe button, as they say. Um, I don't really know what other Devil Rays themes I have. I, oh, I, oh, I hope they will go back to the name Devil Rays. But I figured right after they got rid of the name Devil Rays and shortened it to the Rays, they went to the World Series against the Phillies. And then uh, 12 years later, yeah, 12 years later, they went to the World Series against the Dodgers. So uh, I guess on, you know, they're probably not going to go back to the name Devil Rays, but... Uh, one could hope. I have a, a ray hat that just has the sun ray on it, but I bought a devil ray's patch and my wife was nice enough to sew the patch on the side of it. So now it's a devil ray's hat. I don't mind the sun to a point. As I said, you know, I, don't know, I like the moon better. Uh, that's just me. Uh, you know, what are you gonna do? Some people like the sun, some people like the moon. Some people might even like Uranus. <laughs> It's a childish old joke, I know, but you know what? As Tony Kornheiser says, it's never not funny. So anyway, um, that's all my thoughts on this latest episode of The Fitted Hat Full. So thanks for watching. I'm thanking you in advance because I haven't loaded this on YouTube yet. But uh, thank you for watching. Click the subscribe button. Tell your friends, your enemies, and your loved ones to click on my channel, The Fitted Hat Full. Where I'm the fool, the hats are fitted. And if you like to be a fool, all you have to do is click the subscribe button. And then voila, you're a fool. <laughs>